Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. Wow, everything is in the way. Let me see. That's potentially better. There's some really weird artifacts around the face cam today. I'm sorry. Thank you for the follows, people. Uh, <laughs> hey, Chalk. Uh, just in time. And welcome to the map making stream. There's lots of uh, new and old faces around. So thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, Mind Creep and Zed Ray are in, and Jock, of course, Lumi, uh, and Oblivion. So other people have diff scrolled off my screen by now. <laughs> anyway, welcome to something that I've just uh, called Project Sacrifice. I'm going to try to explain a little bit to you. Also, uh, sorry about my like appearance today. I've been sitting all day in my studio making like videos and recording uh, uh, matches for the uh, entrapment tournament. Which is cool, but it's incredibly warm in here, because I've had it closed up all day. So I just had to get a towel, like, pour water on it and pull it around my neck, because I was, like, overheating like crazy. And uh, now you get, like, a, a sliced lime wet t-shirt or whatever. <laughs> um, another follow, Magma Slime, thank you very much. Alright, so, Sacrifice. Why is it called Sacrifice, and what is Project Sacrifice? So Project Sacrifice is... It's an idea I've had, it's one of those ideas, you know, it's... it's. I never had time to actually work on all my ideas, so it's been around, sort of, in my back of my head a long time. I just wanted... Just wanted to start working on it. And now I sort of don't have any really pressing other things to work on, so I started that up a little bit a while back, and now, now we're gonna continue it. And the, the core idea for this is... Well, let's ignore that for a while. Uh, the core idea is I like survival Minecraft as a core in challenge maps, right? I like the, the the maps I like the most to play are the things that are built around survival Minecraft. So that's what I'm trying to do. I've done that before with like the, the inline thing, the 2D Minecraft thing I built, and I've, I've done it before several times over, and this is another one. So basically, sacrifice is a reference to the fact that you sacrifice. <laughs> You're required to sacrifice. This is this is like... Uh, this is Minecraft with a bunch of really grumpy, angry gods. Gods? Gods? <laughs> if I can pronounce things correctly today. Uh, that demand your sacrifice. So every day, they're gonna come to you and go like, Hey, you need to sacrifice this this thing for us. So we're gonna make an altar on top of some mountain somewhere and uh, you're required to go there before the end of the day, like before midnight or whatever, and uh, place those items there. That items or those items. What about bubble shooter? Um, I'm not quite sure what you're saying. Uh, like, there are two questions that I can answer about bu bubble shooter. One is why am I not working on it, which is what I think you're asking, and it's basically... It's not such an interesting project. It's also a massive mess of... of uh, lots of commands generated by code and stuff. It's not... like I, I've probably left it behind at this point. It's, there's, there's nothing interesting about upgrading that to Minecraft 1.12, right? It doesn't become any better or worse. It just starts working again on a newer version. If you, can, if you want to play it, you can play it on 1.8. Um, but anyway, so that's why I'm not doing that. And the... The second question is, like, Bubble Shooter is nowhere near Survival Minecraft, and yes, I've done other things too. Like, neither is uh, Build Up Hardcore. So anyway, we're gonna have an altar, and the, the core of this game is that... Whenever, like, every day, the difficulty increases, right? So all these target values... Let me actually... Uh... If I can figure out my keybinds, because they're different when I'm streaming on Twitch... There. Here we go. So basically... Sorry about the screaming kids. <laughs> just outside my window, I just have to do this when my window open, because otherwise I'll die. Um, basically, this is my sort of reset function that I've been working on that just sets everything up. So... This is... this whole chunk of stuff is marked T1, which basically means this is the, the, the like, tier 1 stuff. So... Let me say that I have a difficulty of one, then I would be 
are required to hand in one of these items. So, like, there's apple, coal block, iron ingot, leather, feather, bone, rotten flesh, gunpowder. Probably not that interesting to just do one, so maybe we... Maybe we start at five or something? And then... The difficulty increases, right? So, like, maybe it increases by one and a half times every night or something. So, the next night, if your difficulty was six the first time, you would have nine the next one. Or whatever. I don't know exactly what the values are going to be. We're, we'll figure out what the values are down the line. But anyway, so the system would then... Then pick, like, okay, you need a, a difficulty of nine. So, that means nine of these items... Because this is still difficulty one, right? Uh, so, you, you, now you need to hand in nine rotten flesh, or whatever. Or, since nine is now above the next tier, which is five here, it could be that you need to hand in one of these instead. So, now you need to hand in a pumpkin pie, or a gold ingot, or something. And then as we go on, like, m maybe your difficulty is 15, so you would be required to hand in three gold ingots, or one lava bucket. I'm not at all sure about these values in relative difficulty. It's basically what I'm saying here, down the line, you, you, you're... I'm scrolling downwards, by the way, if that wasn't apparent. Um, you, we're saying something here, there's a target of 200, which means I'm basically saying that getting a ghast tier is 200 times worse than getting an iron ingot. Which doesn't really mean much, it's just a progression through these items. So basically... At, at 15 value, we have like some of the fi rare fish, we have a glowstone block, we have a lapis block. Um, so when you're playing this, you're going to end up having to sort of... You need to rush to get your sacrifice done. And then you need to keep working on your normal Minecraft survival stuff. Normal survival Minecraft. Hey, that's, uh, that's kind of the core of that. That's why I like it. It's like you're you're playing normal survival Minecraft. You're gonna have to build up your base. You're gonna have to set up your your progression through the game so that you can keep progressing. Because at midnight, like on day twenty or whatever, you're gonna be given something like, "Hey, now you need to go and get me an end crystal, like here." And it's like, okay, but if I have only done the things, then I'm not gonna be able to get you an end crystal or a dragon's breath or whatever. So you have to keep, uh, you have to keep going to sort of uh, to make sure that you you are set up to uh, to get the new thing. And then, like by the by the end of this, we we're like ridiculous things like wither stars and totems of undying. I mean, like <laughs> so. If you at this point, you probably have to have a lit elytra. To, to be able to end, end like know of a cartographer or have a map already in order to get this within a day. <laughs> so yeah. Um, could this be extended for multiplayer? So I, the idea is not necessarily that this is single player only, but it would be like a co-op thing. Right? It would be a co-op gameplay thing. Um, what would the punishment for not completing your sacrifice be? I'm not entirely sure. Um, the, I've, I've considered some options. I mean, one is obviously you just, you just outright lose. <laughs> Why is there a, a villager? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Alright. Um, one is you outright just, just fail. Which is maybe a little too harsh. The other idea I had was we strip you of one heart. We, we reduce your max health. That might be a cool thing. I don't, I'm not sure how doable some of these things are, but that might be that might be an interesting thing. All right. So anyway, the the state I'm at is if it's co-op scaling per day should be increased per player. Possibly yes. It, and then the idea is it is co-op. I mean, you could. I think if you want to play this competitively, which I'm also like, I'm super happy if this can be played competitively. But then what it has to be, is it has to be a, a competition between two people running the same world, right? Uh, and then we need to maybe see about making the uh, sacrifices um, pseudo-random in a way that they can be seeded. Which might be difficult, I'm not sure. 
Alright, so anyway. So what I've been doing is I've just been adding all of these things. Um, let me just go through them real quick and see if you agree with these values. How are you planning for the gods to tell the player what to sacrifice? It's in the chat and with a sign on the altar or some other way. Um, as loudly and bombastically as possible <laughs> is the idea. So basically, big title across your entire screen is like, A New Day Dawns, you need to sacrifice four redstone blocks or whatever. Um, and then hopefully, if at all possible, voiceovers. That would be... That would be uh, the ultimate. Uh, you have this booming voice that just goes, Bring me four redstone blocks, or whatever. Alright, so, tier one. <clears throat> Sorry. The, the easiest things in the game to get, that are still interesting to get at all. Um, an apple. Decently simple, but it's some random, so you'll, you'll have to get to work on it right away. A coal block. Coal is pretty, uh, pretty reasonably easy to get, so coal block shouldn't be a problem. Uh, an iron ingot, feather, uh, leather, bone, rotten flesh, gunpowder. So basically, the mob drops, um, and then some some uh, drops from. I mean, you might have to rush out and just go find a cow or stuff, but yeah. Uh, why isn't Apple in quotes? Because I wrote this first and then I needed the quotes for the next row because there's a space in there and then I copy-pasted <laughs> But we might as well make a quote there uh, What is this just got here? This is Project Sacrifice. Uh, it's about the gods forcing you to sacrifice a thing to them every day in Minecraft So <clears throat> I would say that possibly we start your We start the difficulty at like four or something so at four, you'd have to hand in four gunpowder, or four apples, which is reasonable enough to do in a day. Um, but it still leaves you, still leaves you time to work on other things, which you're gonna need. Because you like, if you get like, you need to go and get me four feathers, then you're gonna go get four feathers by like frantically searching. Um, Searching for uh, chickens and killing them. But then you probably have a little time left over, so you're probably gonna go caving or something. Alright. Blowfish should be pufferfish, yeah. <laughs> uh, then the next tier is like five. So, like, basically. The, you you can it's not really um it's not really exactly five times as difficult but it's something like that so maybe this shouldn't be five maybe it should be a little less I don't know but a pumpkin pie gold ingots are harder to get than than iron ingots um, string maybe a little maybe string is easier maybe string should be up here the ones and a leaf a leaf block is a little harder because you you need to go get a couple of iron ingots and then you need to shear a leaf all right um 10 times as hard we're talking bookshelves lava buckets lava bucket might actually be more of a five thing maybe should remove one of the maximum health the player can have yeah i think that might be I mean, that might be the best <clears throat> or two. I, I don't I don't know. Like if you if it's one, then you can fail ten times. Which is three and a half hours or whatever on gameplay of just failing. No, no, not very good. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe for multiplayer, the first player to complete the sacrifice would could get a buff or bonus item. I think what I, I would like is if you want to compete in this, if you want a competitive element, then you should run the map side by side. Two players should play the same map, same sacrifices, and you are competing to for to stay alive as long as possible. Um, course block and redstone block, yeah. They're more difficult. So I think two from maximum health is probably better than one, because... 
Or three, even. Wouldn't removing a player's health require you to give them an item or make them wear a button before losing a slot? Therefore losing a slot. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm a little afraid that might happen. <clears throat> we, we might... We might have to see. Um, possibly we can figure out a way to just, like, modify the item that they have. And uh, get something on that way, but I'm not sure. It's a little bit iffy, the whole max health thing. That's why I'm sort of... I'm not so sure. I mean, it could just be game over, too. It could just be a very, very, very harsh gods. <laughs> Alright. Um, 15 is the rare fish, glowstone blocks, lapis blocks. 20 is cobweb, uh, which I think is reasonable. Slime ball, ender pearl, golden apple, and emerald. I'm here talking about normal golden apple, apple here. Punishment as losing an inventory slot or two. Uh, there's there's too many there's too many uh, unclear things with that. Like what happens with the stuff that was in your inventory if you lose it, um, and which ones is it? And I don't think so. I oh, know I don't think so. Uh, or an emerald. This also seems usable. Um, Forty times. As hard as a cake, anvil. Uh, so this would be like you're a couple of days in by the time you can hit this at all. I think you should make cake easier. Um, I'm not so sure. Clownfish is way harder to catch than a pufferfish, so it should be in the same category. Maybe not. We have to look at the drop rates. Maybe that should be higher. Um. So, so the cake, you need... The, the thing with the cake is it's not necessarily hard, but you need to... Uh, you need to gather a whole bunch of stuff from all over the place. So if you make the cake early... So let's say if you can get the cake on the second day, you're gonna be like... You're gonna be in trouble. And I don't want to put you through that. Anvil, blaze rod, diamond... Diamond is pretty high just because of the random factor. That's simply it. Like if you if you get di a diamond on the first or even the second day, I guess you can go and branch mine, but there's no guarantee that you'll get one within a day. Um, name tags, saddles, and cookies are up at sixty, which basically name tags and saddles are are drops in chests or fishing saddles and or trading you can trade for both uh, cookies are also like available for from interesting means uh, awkward potion how do you give stuff to the gods you uh, sacrifice them on an altar that will build somewhere you basically go and throw them on the ground there and the gods will gobble them up and go thank you That's that's kind of an interesting. No, well, it's actually pretty interesting because it does mean that you'll have to return to the same place in the world every night before midnight. Um, awkward potion and then uh, obsidian at a hundred. Uh, enchantment table, one hundred and fifty. Uh, guest here, magma cream. We're getting pretty high level stuff here at that hundred. Uh, at 200 actually <clears throat> and end crystal at 400 so I mean at this point we're, we're talking uh, we're talking a pretty high level of stuff that you have to you have to be pretty advanced in the game so we need difficulty to go up reasonably quickly is the altar in a set location yeah it's it's one place in the world that's where the gods live. Uh, coarse fruit, shulker, shulker, shell, difficult words. Uh, basically, this is harder because you have to actually find a city 
for this is just enough to kill the dragon and get out to the rim. Um, dragon heads, ultra, the same. You have to find a ship in a city that's not certain that you get one, and you have to get to it. Uh, Wither Skull as well, super grind. You probably want to... Uh, when you're getting this far, you probably want to get some of this done. Uh, you want you want to make sure that you have a looting sword and you want to sort of grind for wither skulls a little bit even if that isn't your objective because if you need to hand in one of those at some point then yeah a sponge the same thing <laughs> it's like yeah it's getting pretty difficult at this point to just go out and get those in a day you want to be prepared and then uh all right this should say another star and then totem of undying at eight thousand. <laughs> So, let's uh, reload that and function, All right, it was praise before, the project name, because um, you praised the gods or whatever, praise the sun, uh, setup, what's the name, and that just redoes the entire thing. Hey, William. This is a new thing. This is a, a new map, if you will, that I'm working on. So maybe uh, the first thing we should do is get this out of our face. Uh, scoreboard objective set display sidebar. Thank you very much. And likely down the line, I will want to find a builder or builder group or something to actually make an altar. Um, Minus 200 and 200 is, is spawn, so... Uh, minus 200 here and 200. So this is spawn. We want something in the spawn chunks. So we possibly just use this hill or something. We can't go too far. But yeah, we're, we're gonna make something temporary. And then down the line we'll probably want something... It's that somebody who knows how to build stuff that looks good. <laughs> actually builds. So basically, the idea is there's a core of bedrock that you are throwing things on so that this can't be broken. And then whatever goes around this platform is like... Whatever is just decorative. But it's gonna have to be something that you can't uh, steal and reuse for for the sacrifice, so <laughs> we'll need to make make sure it's it's some good materials. Like we can't use a bone block, for instance, because then you could just take that. Well, I guess you're handing him bones, not bone, not bone meal. So we could use bone blocks. Figure this out. Um, we can use red nether bricks. So we can't break those apart. Look, creeper. Get out of my face. I said get out of my face. Maybe put the player in game mode 2 when they enter the altar. Um, I'm not so sure. I mean, like... It, it doesn't really matter, because, like... Then you have to have... Game mode, you have to switch the game mode from so far away. You could just uh, do mining fatigue or whatever too, but I don't mind. Like as long as we, uh, as long as we agree, we don't use the uh, items that you're supposed to hand in. Like, we could just do like polished andesite and use all the rubbish kinds of rock. It should be fine. Um, all right, we have all of all of the concrete types and stuff too now. I'm not going to worry too much about it, though. We'll just build something super simple and ugly here, and then let somebody who knows who's better at the artistic part of the game do something with it later. <laughs> hey! What an altar. Actually, I want this one higher. 
whatever. We just want a place. And this is... We're going to write this down. Minus 189, 89... Well, actually, I guess it's 90 if there's an item on top of it, and 262. Uh, this is our location. So, here's the list for, for people who are coming in later and wondering. Uh, we're, we'll be looking at the list later more. Uh, we're gonna put, just drop this into our, our game loop, though. How are you even able to get, for instance, Shulky Shells in one day? I can't even find a city in many days. Um, you prepare. You're not going to be required to get that on day one. Right? Actually. I think what we're going to do is we're going to set this to peaceful mode for the time being, because, like, Endermen are ripping up the terrain here. Alright. So, like, once you've uh, once you've advanced in the in the game f uh, high enough, then at some point it's gonna go like bring me a shulker shell. And at that point, you better have like killed the dragon and fixed the portal, and you, hopefully you know where stuff is. Is this map going to use any custom resource packs or loot tables? Shouldn't need to. The whole journey to the end is going to be more than a day, usually. What? How long does it take you to go to the end? I mean, you, you set up a, a nether portal, and then you set up another nether portal at the portal, and then you enter. And the point is, the point is, you, you can't just leave going to the end until until you need to, because then it's too late. That's that's the whole point. That's why you get easier items at first, and and there's. It's, it's meant to be balanced in the way that you always have items. Hey, Sunket. It takes a long time, usually. I don't know. I, if I go to the end on the server, it takes me maybe a minute to get there. Because it's prepared, right? So, obviously, you need to... You need to you're going to need to find the stronghold and all of that jazz. The only, like, the only worthless part is the dang ender pearl grind. So the idea is a little bit that you should be able to slot this this into any map. To actually find an end city, it's not that bad. I, I don't find, like, the first one, maybe. But it's not that bad, really. You get a, a bunch of, uh... You get a bunch of ender pearls from the endermen there, and then you teleport across things. I don't... it's not... it's not too bad, like... Yeah, it's a challenge, but uh, it's a, supposed to be a challenge, too. Alright, so, maybe the first thing to do would be a function that figures out, is it, well, we need to figure out, is it midnight, right? Yeah, that's probably the first thing we need to do, and I mean, we should make sure that that triggers when the game starts or something. You just start the game just before midnight, I guess, which is terrible. Should it be every morning, every sunrise? Maybe that should be it. When the time hits zero, daytime hits zero, then we give a new challenge. That's probably it. So what we need to do is we need to find the daytime. And basically, um, time qu query daytime, right? Every midnight, every midnight sounds cooler, and it makes sense, but then we basically have to start the game at midnight, which is awful. Like, we spawn you in, and here are all the mobs in the entire world, so no. So just at sunrise, like, z at time zero, maybe at the end of the day, so you wake up, you have an entire day to get your stuff. Yeah, I was thinking about that. You, you get a first day without a sacrifice. But then I feel like the things are a little too easy, the first things. There's no real challenge in the first nights. That's what I feel like. I'm gonna try for a zero. I'm gonna try... 
All right, basically, we're gonna need something because we have a scoreboard that's target. Uh, we're gonna need to add a sacrifice dummy. I guess current sacrifice. I think this could also later be remade into a more fast-paced minigame-like version. Many YouTubers would probably prefer that. Maybe. It's a little hard to do that because it's uh, it requires picking up stuff that is like survival-based and hard. I mean, the, the other option is we... We give you the challenge at midnight, but we start you in at morning. So basically you just get a first, you get the first challenge and you have less time for the first one. Which would be an okay, okay thing, I think. All right, let's uh, switch into commands. Anyway, we're going to need to do something like this. We're gonna need, um, so basically what I'm trying to do is time, query, uh, date time. But since we need the result of this, uh, we're gonna have to do something like this. Execute, like, at P, this. And then we're gonna have to stats that entity. Should be okay. Um, set... Query result to uh, time on sacrifice, I guess. Maybe I should just be making an entity to wrap this off. You need to make the sacrifice before you see the sun rising, how's that? That's pretty much the same as I said, but then we might as well just have zero. Why can't you give the challenge later, why is it right from the beginning? I, I don't want to give you a bunch of time where you're just survivaling. I want to give you the challenge right from the beginning. Might be better to have a main entity. Yeah, I, th I think you might be right. Let's go into our setup. And, uh, kill at E tag equals main, I guess. And then summon area effect cloud minus 200, 1, 200, because that's where all of them live now. Tags uh, main custom name main to and duration. <laughs> all right, tab completed with the, the end bracket, <laughs> whatever. All right. That should work. So, uh, reload. Okay. Apparently I left, <laughs> I left stuff in the, the loop. That's fine. Um, game rule. Uh, let me switch you in here because now we're in here. This is what's going on right now. <laughs> uh, come and look at it falls. There we go. Do area effect cloud costs less lag than armor stands? Yeah, but not enough to really make a difference, really. Depends on what you're doing with them. Uh, with this amount, not really. But you might as well take what you can get. Right? Um, so now we have a main thing. No, we haven't because we haven't run setup yet. Function. Come on. Function. Here we go. Uh, setup. So now we have a main thing. Let's go back here. Into the loop. And then we can do stats entity at uh, E. Tag equals main. And we're going to do that here too. Um, uh, query result. 
selector time selector scoreboard right i think it's selector scoreboard um and in between the scoreboard players set That was a weird switch in the music. Um, at E tag equals main sacrifice. Hmm. We're either going to need several scoreboards or we're going to need several entities. I think we might just do several scoreboards. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, Let's do this scoreboard objectives add time dummy time update. Uh, have fun having to update it when 1.13 hits. It's not going to be that bad. There are, there are plenty of worse maps. Um, area effect clouds versus uh, armor stands. It makes a difference if you got a lot of them, and they're also invisible in spectator mode, which is nice. Yeah, that's actually the the most important difference. In really, there's no disadvan disadvantage either to using area effect clouds. It's the best idea. Uh, I don't quite agree with that. There's a lot more. There's a lot more verbose junk that you have to do when you're working with area effect clouds. Like you have to, you have to actually type out area effect cloud, and you have to have the duration and, uh, yeah, all. Of what happened there? All right, there we go. Uh, so we do time here instead of sacrifice. Was the point? And then we run this, and then we should have the time of day updating in the time scoreboard for the main entity. Uh, reload. Uh, I should not need to do a setup. I can just do time display, and it's showing nothing. Alright, okay. Function praise setup. Alright. Okay. So why not? Scoreboard players. E. I'm just assuming that this doesn't exist. Oh, because I'm stupid. Uh, let's just go here. So add instead of set, and we just add zero, which does nothing unless you don't have a time, in which case it becomes your. All right. So now, all right. Now we have uh, the time of day being updated on the side here, so it's just ticking along. So what we want to do now is we want to detect when it hits zero. I think we'll do zero for now. And basically, we're gonna do this. Fun I'm gonna show you what I'm doing too. Function uh, praise. We might rename this later. It was called Praise for the, from the start of this project, now it's called Sacrifice. It's more... Uh, more correct. <laughs> it's more like what you're doing. You're actually sacrificing things to the gods. Um, so, we'll run... Uh, what do we call it? New... New goal, I guess. It's the goal. Um, if we have a e tag equals main score time equals zero time can never be negative so that should be enough so whenever we hit time zero we'll run this praise new goal function so let's make that select a new goal uh, new goal dot mc function all right. Let's see. 
I don't get why people update their maps. Seems like a complete waste of time to me. I've updated... Yes, you're correct. I've updated a lot of stuff. And Jock is pretty correct in one way. Like, to get it back on Realms, yes. But also because, like... I think both Entrapment and uh, Build Off Parkour have really benefited from the update, right? Their, their new trap making materials, the functions really make entrapment work better. Um, and for build off parkour, we switched out a bunch of the items to stuff that didn't exist before. So when build off parkour was made in 1.8, there weren't any end rods, for instance. All right, so th th there, are, there are new things that are interesting to have in the maps, and then getting people to play them is usually involves being on the latest version. Um, Alright, so what we're gonna need is we have that sacrifice scoreboard, right? So in the setup function we should be doing something like this. We should be doing scoreboard players set it e tag e tag equals main sacrifice to what? Let's say four. The magic number four. All right, and then in our new goal, actually, let's do two, or maybe not. <laughs> in our new goal, we're gonna do score uh, scoreboard players operation. And multiply. Actually, that's wrong. Uh, at e tag equals main um, sacrifice. Does this even need to be on that? Maybe it does. If you got a lot of players, there would be a lot of people like, why no? Why, why my map no work? Yeah. I think, like, as a creator of something, it kind of makes sense that you want people to play your stuff, right? And the, and having your stuff accessible on the latest version of the game is uh, is a big part of that. So if we just multiply this by two, uh, which I, for the record, think is of too much, we're going to need a constant table. The real question is why not update maps? Laziness is about the only answer. I don't think so. Um, I think there are a lot of good reasons th where a map that you made is no longer that interesting, really, and not worth the effort. So, scoreboard objectives add const, dummy constant table. This is uh, one of my favorite patterns to use scoreboard pl players. Admiral Stapler. <laughs> That's a great name. Thank you very much for uh, that follow. And uh, Tolfsim. Tolfs, Tolfsim? So follow before I missed that. Sorry about that. Thank you very much anyway. Uh, scoreboard players set to const 2. Which basically means you have a player called 2 who has a score of 2. Which is super simple then to use when you're in your code, because you can do stuff like this. You can just multiply by two, by calling two. Do you think one command creation community will eventually dwindle to nothing? I hope not. I would actually say I hope so. The one command thing is like a, it's a kludge. It's like the, the whole one command thing. It's, it's terrible that that's still the method of distributing command creations, right? Like imagine if you would have something like like a little zip file with commands and stuff in it, with like with functions and whatever you need to install that on a map, and you could just that would be like a, a like a dot mc mod or whatever for module, and you double click that and it would just put it into your world, or you would drag and drop it onto your Minecraft or whatever, just put it into your level. Like the the way we get command creations into a Minecraft world with the one command thing. It's just awful. So user-unfriendly. You're copy-pasting 
thousands of characters of text and pasting them in and hoping it works. Like data packs, maybe. Those, I'm, I'm not sure those uh, hit all of the marks that I want them to hit, but maybe. I haven't looked at them that much. I haven't talked to Dinnerbug for a while either because I'm on my vacation. I just know they're changing stuff and I'm going to be mad at them later. <laughs> Um, let's do two for now. So basically, now we have a value. We have a sacrifice value of, uh, this, in this case, eight, I think. And then we're going to say, hi there. And then we're going to reload this. <laughs> There's method to my madness. Um, basically, we're in the middle of the night right now. So when this hits... I kind of want to see that the that the game actually prints hi there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's get that in there right now, because then we know that it actually detected the time zero and actually ran the function, which is kind of important. It's awful, but it's still the easiest to install for most people, as you don't need to download anything, which does seem to be a problem for people. Yeah, but, I mean, that's... The, the fact that it's the best at the moment doesn't mean that it's the best possible. For sure. Alright, so... What we want to do now... Is we want to... But if you have the time, is there some negative to updating your map? No, not really. I, it, it makes it work for more people and more versions. It's a strict positive. If you want to spend the time, it's a strict positive. Sometimes it's not even possible. Not all one command creations are thousands of characters long. One in minus eight thousand... Wait. Yeah. I think you might have just proven the point. <laughs> All right, so uh, score. Let's see. What 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 are we looking for here? We're looking to select. All right. Here's what we're looking for. We're looking to select one of the one of the area effect clouds from this list that we had before, which is like here. Uh, and we're going to select one that is within a certain range from the current goal. So, like, if our current goal is 200, we don't want to select... Let me get back in here. Ooh, what happened there? We ended back in entrapment. Interesting. Why did we end back in entrapment? All right. Well, never mind. Um, here, um, target. So this target is one. So if your current goal is two hundred, you've been sacrificing things for like ten days or whatever. Then we don't want your target to become like we don't want to select apples and force you to hand in two hundred apples. For example, how would you update Captive Minecraft? It's solely based on achievement. I guess what you could do is replicate all the achievements as advancements. I don't know if it makes sense to do that though. And then there, there's some things that are just dependent on things that are no longer in the game. Like, yeah, maybe you can find a workaround, but yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we could have conditionals and functions? I don't know, you kind of can. You just need to branch to function. The difficult part here is the calculation. Uh, because the calculation is, is a bit of a mess when you're doing things with via scoreboards only. So I think what we'll do is scoreboard players operation. Actually, let's do this. Uh, execute at E. I'm in the right view. Yeah, I am. Uh, tag equals target, and then we. Thanks. 
uh, we're going to do scoreboard players operation at s sacrifice equals at, at s target. Praise loop said hi there. End the game. So we detected that time hit zero. And that should also mean, by the way, that uh, our sacrifice value is now eight. Uh, objective set display sidebar sacrifice. Uh, no, wait, because because we never set one to begin with. I like how map making is slowly turning more and more into coding. Yeah, because it kind of has, has to. It is kind of coding. It's just a very weird language. Uh, reload func function, function, function there. Uh, praise setup. Now it's four. Praise the loop. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what my neighbors are doing. I hope it's it's not coming through too bad. Alright, so let's go back here. We're gonna copy all the values from the sacrifice from the targets into the sacrifice table. Objective. Um, we don't need hide there anymore. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is we're going to do some calculations on this. So basically we're going to figure out how many of each type of item that you would have to hand in. Which is... A scoreboard players operation at S sacrifice divided by... Uh, e tag equals main sacrifice, right? Yeah. No. No, the other way around, right? Uh, dang. Wait, so if the value is 1, and your value is 8, then you'll have to hand in 8. So it's the other way around. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have been talking to my screen for better parts of the last 10 hours or something. I have been, uh... I have been, uh... Recording a video, editing a video for when I'm gone, and then I've been recording two games in the Entrapment Championships, and then in between I've edited some more, and now I'm doing a stream. <laughs> Busy days when you're about to leave as a YouTuber. Alright, so basically we need the other way around, which means we're going to have to do a change to this row. So at S Sacrifice is going to be copied out of this thing instead. So everything becomes the main sacrifice, and then we're going to divide it by its own target value instead. We test for block a dropper with some diamonds in it, how do we get output for it? We've tried stats, but I can't get it to work for entities other than the player. It's because you're doing something wrong, and stats is very finicky. But I did that. I mean, that's what I did in this one, right? If you look at the loop, we are doing stats on a on an area effect cloud, and it's working. So I mean, the the problem is you have to you have to do stuff like what we had here. Like you have to make sure that it has a scoreboard value before the command happens and stuff. So. Stats is, is anything but easy to use, but it does work if you do it right. Alright, so now, with this function, all of the things should get their values divided. So if we have 8, then all of the 1s should get 8, all of the 5s should get 1, and so on. And what we want to... and then a bunch of them will get 0. So what we want to do is scoreboard players reset... Um... At e tag equals target score sacrifice uh, equals zero. 
sacrifice. And then we want to do score scoreboard players reset at e tag equals tar. I'm missing my keystrokes for the today for some reason. Score sacrifice min equals something sacrifice. Uh, so if you end up having to hand in like more than eight, uh, more than sixteen, maybe then no. Just no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, the more I think about it, the more I'm sure that the 2 is too high of a value. But anyway, we now that's done, we can go back into the game, do slash reload, and now we can test it. So the current sacrifice is 4. If we do function pr praise new goal... Why is it not tab completing? Why? Data functions praise new goal dot mc function. It it ran it before. I guess it just doesn't auto update it auto complete or something. New goal. If we just run it. What? Made a calculator with 19 commands. No? Good work. I mean, uh, Duncan, the, the thing that can easily go wrong in the stats, stats things... Did I save it? Yeah, it's saved. It's, it doesn't have any changes. And it existed even before. Did I save it as a .mc function? I mean, the thing is, we have run it. The game has run it before. The game has run it at... Because we saw the... It said hi up here somewhere. Hi there. Which is what I said by the loop, but the loop just runs that function, so... If you go back here, we know... That this ran, right? Pra function praise new goal. These are the moments we live for as map makers. Uh, I guess I'll just, uh, just reopen. Like function, praise. Why did you suddenly stop accepting that this file exists? It's in my app data roaming. Minecraft saves sacrifice data functions praise. New goal dot mc function. How did it stop being a valid function? I wonder if I accidentally put some like invalid character in here somewhere. So it just fails to read it. Anyway, what would you have a problem, uh, execute. That's right. That really shouldn't make a difference, should it? Not that kind of a difference. Wow. All right. So uh, let me finish that sentence, so Duncan. Um, if you are running, if you're statsing an entity and run running stuff on it. The one mistake that I've done too many times to even even think about is I end up doing my thing, and then I do another execute off of that thing or whatever. And what, what that does is it re resets the score back to zero again. All right. Um... Uh, what I actually want to do was rain one. Actually, we can. We might as well do clear and a uh, large number. We'll have to try to remember to set it back later. See you, Duncan. No worries. 
Thanks for joining. 26 people on Twitch, that's pretty good. It's, uh, it's a pretty good size. Um, Alright, so now... Uh, function... Which mode of, Yeah, I'm have, I had the right view up. Uh, praise new goal should give us only the things that end up being between 1 and 16 items. So there's a bunch of 8s in there and a bunch of 1s. It sounds about right. So we could do... Uh, tell raw with a selector so will it print the names of these it should right yeah at e um tag equal uh, well actually yeah tag equals target score sacrifice min equals one there we go so apple coal block leather feather Bone, gunpowder, leaf, string, pumpkin pie, and gold ingot. That sounds pretty good. So that seems like it worked. And we would have to hand in one pumpkin pie or eight apples in this case. So that, I mean, all of these numbers are sort of... Have to, and wait, if we run it again, we should get other values. So, ooh, you have to have a hand in 16 of something. Uh... Leave. What's this? What's the one sixteen about? Uh, how is there one thing that you have have to answer in sixteen of our? Oh no, that's our current value, of course. So current sacrifice value is sixteen. And we have to hand in a bunch of things that are worth fifteen, like cobweb, should be in here. Is it? Am I blind? It's a bunch of ones. No, because cobweb is 20, not 15. <laughs> Herp -a -derp. All right, so um, glowstone block is 15. And it's right here. So you hand in one glowstone block, or you'd have to hand in three of the 6A thing, which is probably like bookshelf. That's 825D. Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of the ones. So this seems to be working pretty well. All right, so, and then what we need to do is we need to randomly select one of these. I don't get how the sacrifice works. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Oh man. It's, what time is it? Okay, yeah. We're probably not going to be running as long as we usually do today, by the way, because uh, I need to prepare more, more, more things for when I'm gone. So, but we'll keep going for a couple of hours. Um, switch back to. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. To do this. Um, so now we have a bunch of things in this, and what we want to do is select one of them. So scoreboard players tag. Uh, e tag equals target score sacrifice min equals one. Uh, actually, this should be at R. Type equals area effect cloud. Add selected or maybe current. Then we could, like, after a while, we could look at if we want to make sure that you don't get the same one twice in a row, maybe, or something. Why don't you make blowfish say pufferfish? Because I'm... I keep forgetting about it. It also doesn't matter that much. Alright, so now we have a current one, and now we can do score scoreboard... Board players reset at e uh, That doesn't work. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Alright, um... I guess we can match it as a match as, as NBT. Uh, tag equals target. Uh, no, tag was not current. Sacrifice. Um, if they match tags, uh, target. I think that will do it. Your beard is pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. Haven't, uh... I need to shave. <laughs> Haven't done that in a couple of days. Let's see. I, uh, go kind of, uh... I go troll mode when I... When I have my vacation. Don't care about shaving every day. So now if we run new goal, we should end up with two lines. Actually, let me switch back to the game view. Should end up in two with two lines in here. One being our main actual target and one being the selected current goal. That didn't work. Uh... Okay, we select a glowstone block. So that's, that's a good start. Oh. I'm guessing these are gonna say... That the tags that the NBT doesn't match. Oh, All right, that doesn't do that. That that's right. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna stop being stubborn. We're just gonna do it uh, the easier way. It's gonna be one more thing. Scoreboard players tag at e. Tag equals target, score, sacrifice, min equals one, add, uh, uh, how do we do that? Add, uh, what am I actually trying to say? Actually, we can just do this. At E. Tag equals main add current. And then we can remove the tags from everything that isn't sacrificed, and then we can move current. It's a little bit ugly, but whatever, it will work. Okay. Let's clear that so we don't have to chat spam all over. Um, let's run the new goal function. Why... Why three? Uh, oh, because we never remove current. Uh, that's... that's so we have the old... We have the old one left from the, from the previous round. So we need to tag... E tag equals current, remove current first. That's what we need to do. Uh, where am I clicking? There we go. Reload. Run again. Two values. Now we are up to difficulty 256. What What the heck are we required to, to hand in now? Four saddles. <laughs> Alright. Which hopefully at this time you'll kind of You'll have one or or two, and then you can fish or trade for some or whatever. All right, so let's. Uh, all we really need now for this function to be kind of good. Let's actually. Um, let's start by maybe commenting this a little bit. Increase difficulty. Um, Uh, 
item amounts is what this does. This is clear out items of invalid counts. And then we're going to go select a new goal. And then what we're doing here is display goal. So basically, um, there's title at a title. And this is just going to be a text. A new day dawns. And then title at a subtitle. Text. Uh, the gods require a sacrifice of. This might be too long. Um, uh, score. Don't ever do raw JSON at home, kids. It's dangerous stuff. Objective. Uh, sacrifice. Name. Oh. At E tag equals target score sacrifice min equals actually tag equals current that'll that'll do um text a space and then selector which is at e Tag is current. Chances this works first time? You wanna bet? You wanna bet? Place your bets, folks. Slash reload. It's not gonna work. <laughs> it freaking worked. It is too long though. So uh, we are gonna do... The gods demand... Demand... And then the items. Which hopefully fits. The gods demand 13 awkward potions. Okay, good. Alright, now there's some, uh... There, there's some some grammar Nazi stuff to do here, so we can do uh, we'll do two of these, and we'll do execute at e tag equals current with capital C uh, score sacrifice equals one, and then we'll do we'll remove the whole score. We'll just... The gods demand... God dang it! Now we need... Uh, now, now we have the whole A... <laughs> now we have that issue! Alright, okay. We'll figure it out. How about putting the demand in the action bar? Then you can make it longer. Ah, uh, Just do a parenthesis N, a blarf, a parenthesis S to be consistent. No! This is polish. This, this is what separates a, a truly good map that is an like, immersive experience from... A, something that's just thrown together. Like, making everything actually read out in a human-readable format is important. It seems kind of silly, but it is. Uh, and then... So what we're gonna do is add... Text. Colon. S. To this. The only one that isn't, isn't perfect now is... The gods demand a... Something that is... Should be an. Um...
now I think we're the the goal is so high that we have basically beaten the game. <laughs> uh, scoreboard players set at e tag equals main sacrifice four, and then let's run it again. No, it's just broken now. All oh, right, because this is wrong. Let me show you. I've done a bad. This is supposed to be main two. I just copy pasted too much. If you want it to be a immersing experience, just record your voice for each one. Uh, that was also the plan. Not necessarily my voice, but a voice. Preferably a very bassy voice. Find somebody who's really... a really godlike voice. Like my, my voice. I know people like my voice, but I, I, I wouldn't... My voice is not what I would associate with a god. I may be a god, but it, my voice may not not sound like it. All right. The gods demand a string. <laughs> All right. The gods demand a quartz block. The gods demand three quartz blocks. See, like it, it kind of works. Um, now we just need to three slime balls, twelve bookshelves, bookshelves. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, why is why is natural language so messy? Dang. Um. All right. We'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll work on that later. It's it's not it's not too much work to to get it done actually. But we need to store we'll need to store the language information for each word basically. It's a little messy, uh, and maybe not the most fun to do on a stream, but we can do it. This is good enough as a starting point. Uh, I definitely do want to fix that before I release this map, though. Like, don't don't get me wrong. I, I will get that done. But yeah, we obviously need to we need to have more information about what the 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 indefinite article in singular is, and what the the correct plural is. <laughs> Puffer fishes, <laughs> yeah, fishes. <laughs> make the item you need color for it to make it pop out more. Uh, yeah, I, I, we we can do that. Like the the that whole we can do the whole uh, formatting thing later. I do agree though uh, with what somebody suggested that uh, not necessarily because. If I was making this, I would have stopped and continued to play with the function for hours. I mean, it would take me it would take me maybe at most 30 minutes to sort this out properly. I just don't want to be doing it right now. It's not important. Uh, somebody's mentioned you should put it in the action bar. Um, so it can be longer. Which I kind of agree with, but not because it could be longer, but because we, we I want something that consistently, constantly tells you what the current objective is. Uh, which means that in our loop function, we are just going to do execute at e tag equals current. So if we have a current thing, then we're going to display it. So title at a action bar. And we might actually we might just do. Let's go back to our new goal and steal some stuff here. All right, so this needs to be the same thing too. We might just do this actually. Um, the score, th the whole score blurb, this uh, first. That's gonna say something like three. And then we're gonna do text. Uh, X, and then we're gonna do this one. We can just type out selector uh, at e tag equals current. So this is gonna run all the time, which means that now that we do slash reload, twelve times bookshelf in our action bar all the time. 
And I think that's fine. 12 times bookshelf. Uh, it's, it's not too wrong. <laughs> Vicious is incorrect, though. Huh. Is this a difference between American and British English, then? That's, uh, today I learned. Today I learned. Interesting. Now I have even more of an issue, then, because now I have to select if this map is in American or British English. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we got to do, kind of, is detect that you sacrifice something. So you come here with your 12 bookshelves. With your 12 bookshelves that are decorative blocks. So they're in here, I believe, that are definitely something you can search for. They are building blocks. All right, so I'm here. <laughs> Sure. Here with my 12 bookshelves, I come to sacrifice them. So basically what I'm about to do is I'm about to throw them all on the ground like this. So that's one thing. But I might also just throw them all on the ground like that in one big go. So basically we need to identify that you've thrown bookshelves on the floor and deal with that. <laughs> So we need to identify that you've thrown bookshelves in specific and we need to identify how many. And neither of these things are trivial. Swimming with the fishes, yeah. Or two bunches of six. Yeah, or any other. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying essentially. There, there might be there might be any amount. And what's worth, I'm Worth. Worse, I might come here and I might go like, oh, I sacrificed my three bookshelves now. Uh, and then what should happen is down at the bottom, here, where it says 12 times bookshelf, it needs to now say 9 times bookshelf. And then I can come back later and go like, oh yeah, now, now I'm done. So we need to detect each and every item, even if it comes in like bunches of whatever. I threw three down here then it needs to eat that up and clear out. So, yeah. Teleport bookshelves onto Hopper and then check that Hopper. Maybe. The first problem is that we have nothing that... no way to identify a bookshelf. By the way, since I'm a bad person, I've missed it, so thank you very much to iZero and uh, Arx Gamer for the follows. I've made the follows a little less obvious now. There's no, uh, it's not big animation and sound and stuff anymore. Uh, there is if you subscribe though. That's the difference because the channel is affiliated now, so you can sub or you can uh, cheer and you can donate and all things. I don't even have the donation link up. I'm terrible, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Why not just item ID colon Minecraft. Uh, column bookshelf. Yeah, and where do we put that, right? So we're gonna have to make one thing for every every item. Which is a problem, and then we have to have all of the logic for every single item that we need to be able to pick up. And we need to have all of that logic duplicated for how many items we have. It's It's like a terrible mess. Hey, Jen. So that's... But that wouldn't be different with the hoppers, would it? Uh, no, but it would... What the hell? Okay. Sorry, popping up windows here. Um, basically, if we were trying to put all of this in a function to detect, like, we're putting it in our loop here, then what we need to do is we need to basically run a function for every type of item, depending on which... which uh, area effect cloud is the currently selected one. It's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to actually use command blocks. These, those things still have a purpose and we put the command blocks in the world on a certain location and then each uh, area effect cloud is inside of that command block and we would run the command block that they're in. And that command block then does the logic to test. 
If you teleport the items to a hopper, would how would you make sure the wrong items don't go in the hopper? I mean, I guess you'd have to have an item filter and all yada yada. And it doesn't even work with all the items because they aren't... Uh, you would have to test for it anyway. I mean, it's not going to... A hopper is not going to help. Like, the hopper isn't going to make anything better in this case. We need to work on the items directly. So what I think we need to... What, what I think we need to do is we need to... When I throw something on the ground here, we need to run a single thing that tags it as this is the correct item to sacrifice today. You can just do, if it's a bookshelf, set the item score to 1. If it's a puffer fish, set the item score to 2. Then try to match the score to the expected item. That's kind of the same. But the problem is you have to list all the items. Regardless of if you do it that way or if you just match them. I mentioned the hopper as a way to desegregate the stacks. You could use that to count down the number. Yeah, sure you could. But on the other hand, we have only 16 at max. So we kind of, we need like five different. No, we actually need 16 different. 15, I guess. Commands for that. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to do execute at E type equals item x equals the things at the top there, 189, y equals 90, z equals 2 and r equals 2. Basically, you've thrown something on the altar. Then we're going to execute off of that and run a function that we call sacrifice, maybe? Um, praise sacrifice. And in there, we're going to do all the logic. So we don't want to run all this junk for if you haven't thrown something there. And if you have thrown something there, then we're going to execute off of it so we can use at s to um, do a whole bunch of tests inside of that function cheaply. Let's make it. Uh, check for an appropriate sacrifice is what we're going to be doing in here. And it's called sacrifice.mc function. There we go. Um, always fill the hopper with the things the gods need and teleport items. Not sucked up back. But that, does, that only works if the things stack. Only works if they stack. So that's, that's the problem. And which I don't... Like, we have stuff that don't stack in the sacrifice list. Like, uh, Lutra. We don't have any good way of distinguishing these armor stands, I just realized. They only, we only have name, and the name of them can have space in it, which means makes it terrible to test for. You should add a tag to each one of them. Text editor is a notepad++, plus plus, yeah. A new day dawns, the god demands four saddles. <laughs> it just happened because I... Because uh, because the time is zero, so the sun just rose, and the gods demanded four saddles of me. <laughs> it's definitely scaling up too quickly now, but uh, we can we can work on the balance for it later. It's working, which is really nice. Why do I? I just keep moving. Damn Notepad plus plus. The problem with uh, Notepad++ is whenever I run my my keybinds to switch stuff in OBS, Notepad++ also reacts on that and does shit. If you excuse my language. So I end up in the wrong file and whatever when I come back. I think it closed the function I was in or something. It did something really weird. Something really weird involving Entrapment, <laughs> because those files are also open in this. Why don't I stream on YouTube? Um, it's been explained in a couple of uh, uh, channel updates. Basically, the way Twitch has their rules is 
if I want to be an affiliate, if I want to be able to earn any money at all through my streams on Twitch, then I cannot uh, broadcast or upload the things I'm streaming on Twitch anywhere else within 24 hours. And the only way for this to be reasonable to me, to, be, to grow the Twitch channel and all of that, is to just say, okay, well then I'm going to have to make some streams Twitch exclusive, and we'll stream on here then. And if you do like it, and if you want to support me, and if you have Twitch Prime or something like that, then you can use your Prime sub on the channel, and then that helps me out, basically. And the intention is to stream more on Twitch as well, more different games and stuff, but then that takes time and I've just been super busy with the tournament and with everything trying to explain. Trying to, to prepare is what I mean for the vacation. YouTube vacation doesn't mean vacation, it just means you do twice the amount of work first and then you go to do none of the work. Um, Alright, so we're checking for an appropriate sacrifice, that means we'll have to be able to match the items. And the only real way of doing that is to be able to identify the things. And the only real way of doing that is adding a tag. Or score. But that doesn't help. So, I guess we'll just do apple, coal, block. Is there a length limit to tags? There is, isn't there? 16 or something. Have you ever tried Sublime Text? There are Minecraft code highlighters if you're into that and other useful packages. Yeah, uh, I've, I've switched back and forth. I'm, I'm pretty happy with Notepad++. The only thing I'm not really happy with is the, the, the syntax highlighting. It doesn't really work well with the dark theme. So there are code highlighters for this too. It's just they only work with the light theme, which I, I, I used to use that all the time. It just... Um, I don't like it on streams. It usually really meshes really poorly. Um, what about not doing anything with the items until the player confirms the offering with a ritual? I mean, you've walked up to the altar and thrown the item on there. I, I would say that's sufficient. Feather, bone, rotten flesh, gunpowder, it's gonna be so annoying, leaf, string, pumpkin pie, gold ingot. Uh, what microphone do I use? It's the blue uh, Yeti. You're seeing a little bit of it right here. It's this hanging off of a, a boom arm. I can actually move it around like this. And uh, it's hanging in a cradle off of a boom arm with this uh, filter in front of it. That's how it's set up. Bookshelf. Lava bucket, quartz block, six and yes, okay. All right, you gotta do them all. It's not much fun work, this, but it's it's you gotta do it. Uh, crown fish. I also agree with some of the comments from before that some of these values are off. Like, they're not great. But the good thing is, uh, we can just move stuff around later. All of these lines are still, like, they're still perfectly fine. The only thing we really need to, to change is the tag for how, many, how much it's worth, which is this. So we can re rearrange things how much we want down the line. Jesus, screaming. Bob web. It's the new hot bob. It's 
Flame Ball, Ender Pearl. Like, this is where you kind of really wish that you had some form of comparative string matching or something in the language, right? Golden Apple. Emerald. Kick. Anvil. It's actually interesting, like, Anvil is worth 40, so... Right. 40, yeah. That's about as many uh, iron ingots as an anvil takes, uh, so you have the comparison. But obviously it's a little harder to just go and get an anvil because of all the, the work involved, as opposed to just doing one iron ingot. Um, blaze rod. Diamond. Tag. Saddle. Saddle. Cookie. Awkward potion. I mean, there's obviously, like, unlimited potential in how much you can complicate things with potions if you want, but... Yeah. Notepad++ has a Reg X Replace. Yeah, but it doesn't really help us in this case, does it? I don't know if you, you're saying that as a, a, an entry into the discussions of whether to use Notepad++ as Sublime, but in this case, I'm really, really complicated uh, regex to figure out this replace, because the replace is not exactly anything else on the line. Removing spaces, potentially compacting things, actually. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's okay. Still okay. Magma cream. And crystal. Guns breath. Almost through, guys. Almost through. Cor Corsa. Chorus fruit. The worst thing is we're going to have to do it all again. Yay, shall shell. All of the texts are gonna have to be listed like this too. Dragon head. I mean, there is a case where you could do like a, you could do a, another head that which requires a charged creeper and all of that jazz, but then you're just that's just stupidly hard. Litra with their skull sponge. Nether star and to them of undying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's okay. All right. <laughs> Dang the totem of undying sacrifice. Yeah, but it's also like it's also ranked as eight thousand times as hard as uh, an iron ingot. So I mean, you're gonna get there. It's kind of the end game of this of this map, I guess. You get up to to these kind of numbers, and you you're forced to start like sacrificing like a couple of totems or something. Like it's it's ridiculously hard, which is the the idea. The idea is we it increases in complexity and difficulty until the point where you fail. Like the the failure is inevitable in the map. It's kind of a the 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 competition is how long can you make it. Alright, so now all of them have a tag. So, for instance, Apple. And then in the sacrifice, we need to do this, which is, like, horrible. Uh, execute at S. Uh, at S is... No, wait, as S is the item. Ah, uh, dang. How do we do this? We can do... We can do... Hmm. Ah, okay. We're gonna have to rematch the item, I think. It's not gonna... there's no other way around it. At E. Tag equals current. Uh, and we're gonna need two dang tags, too. 
That's rubbish. All right, we're gonna have to make another scoreboard here. Scoreboard objective set. No, so not add current dummy. Current sacrifice item. There's no way to tell those apart otherwise. And what we're gonna do is in our new goal function at the end here, we're gonna do scoreboard players reset everything in the current scoreboard and then scoreboard players set e tag equals current current one. You could write a program which parses the entire function file, save it in a custom class, then have a method in the program which inserts the tag name by the effect cloud name. With the time taken to write such a program would be way much more, I presume that you're saying, than the time taken to do it by hand. Maybe. I mean, the thing is, if I'd made this from the start as a program that to generate this code, it would probably have been faster at this point, but at this point, no. Did I just hear a baby noise? There's, there's a playground right across from my window. And children in the playground just scream. They just scream always. Which is why I usually record with my window closed. Which is why I also, like, melt in the studio. It's probably like 30 degrees in here already and then with my window open. Hence this... Trying to cool me down a little bit. It's not very successful. Alright, so now... If we do that, then in our sacrifice function, then we can do execute at e uh, maybe we should have done it the other way around, but now it's done. Score current min equals one and tag equals apple. Alright, come on. So if a. Uh, yeah, you posted a link. Went on the. Uh, went on the stream, though. Should really do something like subs can post links or something. Um, right, so. Scoreboard players. No. Uh, players tag. Uh, e. Dang! I really dislike this. Uh, loop. We're gonna need to redo this whole thing over and over again. And then we might as well not have it here. We might as well do... Just start on the function if... If this. It's basically what we're doing is this. Tag add. Appropriate. I guess we need to accept that it's a little cleaner. <sighs> I'm not happy with that at all. Alright, so we're executing off of the currently selected thing, which is, happened to be an apple. And then we're tagging this whole thing. But I can't figure out any way to, to reverse them, so we're going to have to do this. So basically what we're needing is about 40 lines like this with the different tags. Uh, no, uh, we need this too. Very crucial. Um, uh, item ID craft pull apple. <laughs> there. This line is going to have to be duplicated for every single sacrifice. Siemens Rafter. Alright, so let's just test this with apples, I guess, or something. I guess we can do all of the... <laughs> we can do all of the level ones, or something. And then just rerun it until we get one. So we'll do coal block. Uh, sacrifice, please. 
there. Alright. So, tag equals coal block, and then coal underscore block, I believe, is the item ID for that. Shouldn't you add a count colon one? No, I should definitely not. The whole point is I want to match the item only, not the, not the amount. I want to split those two into two separate things. All I want to know is, is this right? Is this the right type of item? Uh, what am I trying to uh, give? Slay slam coal block. Yeah. The whole point is, if I if I did the count here, then I would need 15 lines for the apple, and then I would need 15 lines for the coal block. So I don't. Instead, what I do is I tag all of the items with accepted, and then we're gonna do the numbers later. We'll figure out the amount later. Alright, so... Then the coal block. Iron ingot. Uh, the glory of map making. Leather and feather. You can make them drop one at a time, so it's add one to a score, and then when the amount is matched, you complete it. Yeah, but then you're like forcing the player to do something that is less convenient. So that's what I was talking about before with a polish. When I'm making a map, or when I'm making a, a game for that matter. Regardless of what you're making that somebody's playing, like I'm not talking about a Minecraft minigame, I'm talking about an actual game. Um, stuff like that matters. Is that rotten flesh? Oh, it is. So what, what I'm searching for is an experience where the player never has to never has to conform to some whim of the map. Never has to change their behavior just because, oh, it only works this way. Like, it's fine to change their behavior because, oh, that's the point of the map. But it's not fine to change the behavior just because, like, oh, the map is poorly coded, or the game only expects you to do this thing, not that thing. Alright, so now we have all of the level 1s. <clears throat> now what we can do is we can do... You use the sacrifice scoreboard, I guess. I've got less than 3 minutes until my toast is ready. What's happened? We're matching items. <laughs> uh, match... Uh, figure... Out how many. So what we're gonna do now is virtually the same thing, but we're not gonna do... So we're not gonna care about which type it is, so I guess we don't need this at all. Instead what we're gonna do is scoreboard players set for this whole thing again. Actually now it didn't matter. Dang it! Alright, I'm gonna do it all again. I'm going to take this, we're going to go back to the loop function. We're going to replace this yet again with execute on this thing. Alright, so, and instead we're going to do at this here. Which is uh, worth it, because there's going to be a fair few of these. And then instead of uh, item ID here, we're going to do count one, and we're not going to add accepted, we're going to set 
the uh, sacrifice score of them to one. Or two, or three, or four, or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and I did one too many. Because fifteen is the max count, I think, at the moment. And this is this is the, the most rubbish part of doing commands in Minecraft. This is where you really just want to be able to read out an MBT value. Is the tag for leather leather because you wrote leather there? No. It's leather. Thank you very much for that. Alright, so now we've figured out how many of the thing that were sacrificed and how... But oh, what if you drop 17 items? Yeah, I know. We're probably just going to eat up your sacrifice. I'm not sure there's a good way around that. Or actually, what this will do is it's going to match exactly the, the amount up until... The, so if you throw down too many, if you try to sacrifice 17 bookshelves when you're just supposed to sacrifice 15 or whatever, then it will do nothing. Which is kind of okay. I mean, the best situation would be you end up with two bookshelves on the floor, on the ground, on the altar, or whatever, and the rest are eaten up and accepted as sacrifice. Which is just... actually maybe possible we just we, we would need we would need to bring this all the way up to 64 and then we would need to subtract how many we want to remain and then we'd need to have up to 63 lines the other direction entity data that might be worth doing later but we'll, we'll start by doing this to see that we can accept sacrifices uh, which is going to be execute uh, for each item uh, type essentially actually that's as at s now so we might as well use at s um With score sacrifice main equals one. Actually, then we might as well just do scoreboard players operation. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we want at e tag equals main sacrifice or. Yeah. Wait, no. We need the tag current one. Um, sacrifice, right? No. Current, actually, no. Yeah, sacrifice, I'm pretty sure. Hey, Mickey. It sets it to as most 15 as uh, you could pick it back up. Yeah. What happens with two stacks of, say, five correct items? Uh, depends on how many you, you need. The setup is... The way the setup is, it's going to set both of them to be accepted, and it's going to run for both of them. As long as you still, still need more items. <clears throat> uh, that's not what I needed. Um... We're going to remove the amount that you threw.
uh, which is tag equals accepted. Right. So basically, take the amount that we just detected that you threw on the ground, and now remove that amount from the sacrifice. So, after that, we've counted down the sacrifice amount. Oh, hello there, moth, or whatever you are. Um, two problems. One, that might be too many. And you might end up negative. So basically what we want here is score, um, scoreboard, come on, scoreboard players tag at e tag equals current score, score sacrifice equals minus one, uh, or actually zero, uh, remove current. So when, when you're if you've sacrificed enough, then you're done, basically. It's no longer the current item. You're done. In fact, you just got an ad. It's probably because I'm affiliate now and it will do that at random, I guess. All right, so. Basically, what the problem is... If we, if we accepted all of those items... Actually, that means that we have execute for this thing, but in the other way around. So min equals zero. That basically means that we... Ex come on. We accepted all the items. then we're going to kill the item. Which is at E. Tag equals accepted. Score sacrifice min equals one. So if we, if our current sacrifice still has zero or more items, that means we took all of them. And then we kill the item. Otherwise, we were in a world of hurt. <laughs> because then we are the negative minus one. And what goes here is, is just an abomination. Because basically this means we need to put items back in. We need to change the item count to match what the new one is. Which is... Whoa! Which is a bit of a mess. Actually, we can test that right off here. So if it's exactly minus one, then we need to put one item back. Right. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, e tag equals accepted. Score sacrifice min equal min equals one. Uh, item count one. That's that's the rough. Call a function until it's zero. That doesn't work because we have to we have to put in. An exact number here. Like all of, because all of these things go into NBT, we can't. We have to enumerate them like this. That's that's the rubbish part. That's why we'll also need 64 of them here, and we'll need 
I guess it's possible that you have to sacrifice one thing and you throw that on a stack of 64 of them. So we need we need to we need to go to minus 63 here basically. So basically minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus oh, come on. 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9 and then up oh, here 2. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then over here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we'll need to continue that style, basically. But I think that's enough. I think that's actually enough. So, slash reload. There's no way, no way that just worked. Uh, we're gonna do setup. We're supposed to sit down back to four. And then we're gonna do new goal. The gods demand eight leathers. Okay. So. Uh, we only, uh, so, let's see, first of all, if I throw down four, it should, sh let's just throw one. That's a great start. <laughs> Alright, okay. Isn't the plural, uh, that we, we, we left the whole plural thing, right? Okay, I'm gonna deal with it later. It's not hard, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of fiddly work. And it's not fun to do on a stream. Um, sacrifice. It did actually... Yeah, okay, so it did actually run that. Uh, let's go spam a bit. Say, I'm looking for a sacrifice. Reload. Throw one of these down. Okay. So it is running the function as the leather piece. That's good. Alright. So what is it? No. Okay, hold on, hold on. I see a problem right here. Um, we're matching count, which is a byte, right? Pretty sure count is a byte. Makes no sense for count to be anything else than a byte, but it may, might be, I guess. Um, uh, let's get rid of our chat history so we don't have that spam. Seven leather! Hey! Alright. So it accepted our sacrifice. And now if we throw down 12, we should get a stack of five leathers remaining. It did nothing. Uh, but we ended up at minus five. Oh, maybe it was just slow. Dang. Counters, but yeah, okay. So let's rerun setup. Let's uh, new goal: eight apples. Apple, and now we're gonna be a little more careful. So eleven apples. That's all we're gonna have now. So it accepts one. If I throw down this, we should get three back. Yeah, so that fades away, and we get three back. It does work! So all we need to do is, is duplicate this 60 times. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do one more... Scoreboard players... 
reset at e score sacrifice equals zero sacrifice. We're gonna get rid of it out of the scoreboard. What do I think about the 113 changes? Let's talk about that when the 113 changes are in the snapshot. Alright. So basically, um, take this. 16, 17, 18, 19. Lovely. 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. form of leather is leathers. Kind of doesn't make sense as plural in this case, right? It's, it's like three leather pieces or three leather leather things. Uh, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think I can do this. Forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Copy a row. Here we go. Only one left. Fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then. Uh, the last one's up to 64. 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, that was a little bit more effective. <laughs> hey, commands. I still think this Minecraft programming is really bad. It's... Maybe do particles to show that the sacrifice has been accepted. There, There's all of the polish left. We, we were just working on the functionality at the moment. Alright. This one is going to be trickier. Because mostly because I have word wrap. No, that's better. Okay, minus 10. 11. 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. 19. So we're going to have 10 there, 10 there, and then the rest of these. All right. Um... This 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Copy all of this, paste it in, paste it in, paste it in. Oop, randomly click in the wrong place. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right place, there we go. You can see links that get removed on the stream chat. Yeah. Yeah, because they get removed as moderation. So they end up in in chat and on in the stream. I don't quite know why. <clears throat> Fifty, 
40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Actually, let's just do several at once. We'll do the 50 ones too. 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we should be able to capture from here to here. Just paste that in. Paste that in. And paste that in. And now we just need the 60 up to 3. Whew. And that just needs to go up to 63, because if it's accepted as a sacrifice, we take at least one item out. Whew! Oh, baby. Alright. Alright, okay. Uh, let's go back in. Re reload. Um, rerun setup. New goal. Eight coal blocks. Alright, we're going to take a whole stack, and we're just going to throw the whole stack down. And it accepted them, and we have 56 remaining. This is why proper languages have loops. This is why proper languages have variables. <laughs> like a loop would do absolutely nothing for this unless you could read out a variable here. In the, in the middle of the, th the, the thing, right? All right, this this was the best bit of a mess, but it worked. So before we do all that, up here we have um, we have something with the tag accepted and a score of sacrifice that is at least one. Uh, so we can execute off of that and do something like particle what's a nice particle to do um angry villager these thing um let's put it up one ninety uh x so i say speed we just zero one Suggestions for uh, particles for accepting a sacrifice, please. I had no real good ideas, I guess. I guess if we do something like... That could work. Totem of Undying Particles. What are those called again? I don't really remember how they... Totem. They fall? They have gravity? Isn't that really weird? Smoke plus... Crit. Maybe. Halt your ATA. Is that the name? I guess. Thank you for the follow, anyway. Was this a take particle, dude? I don't. It doesn't... Is that, isn't that one of the ones that don't display? And rod, actually. That's a pretty nice one. If we do a little smaller... Uh, I don't know. I think that could work. I mean, obviously, this is going to be, uh... It's going to be a part, part of more things, but... I don't know, dude. Just... 
Actually, you can't see this because I haven't switched. There. Uh, smoke. Is it just called smoke? Yeah, it is. So if we can smoke radius a little, smoke a little bigger, it might actually be smaller on the Y. That might be good. Um. Eight gunpowders. Take this. Actually, we should try to do an exact sacrifice, because we haven't tried that. This should kill the item. Meh. It's, uh, it's decent enough. Uh, obviously, if we do, like... Um, we should probably do, like, a, a title that says, like, Sacrifice Accepted or something. When you're done. When you're, like, the, on the last item. Happy Villager. Try Red Dust. Red Dust is too small. I don't like that. Happy Villager, I don't know. I think that it, it'll... Yeah. Maybe, actually. Maybe. So maybe we do, instead of Endrod, do Happy Villager. That'll do for now. Um... If we have this... Then that means that we have... Completed. In my opinion, the particles look weird appearing above the sacrifice and not emerging from them. We could pull them down a bit. Oh, wait. These are supposed to be this here. I mean, is that or we make them come out of the center of the altar? Because what's going to happen here is as soon as you throw the items out, they're going to get accepted in mid-air. So it's going to look a little weird regardless. So we, it might actually be better to just place the... the, the the acceptance thing in the middle of the altar. The more I think about it, actually, the, the more that seems like the best idea. Oh god. Let's do that instead. Because then we place them exactly how we want. Uh, 89.8 Um, basically, we want minus, yeah, point five to sixty two point five. A beacon beam, we can go through bedrock. They are a little. They're a little finicky to work with because they take a little time to activate. So I don't think so. Alright, anyway. Here. If we have this, then we have completed our sacrifice. Um, which means that we should do something. We should maybe display something. Title at A. Title. Um, text. Sacrifice accepted. I'm not gonna... Like, all of the text and stuff is gonna be, like, temporary stuff. 
And we're gonna blank out the subtitle, because otherwise it's gonna show something else there. I would figure that you had uh, understood that there aren't any song titles by the third time it didn't work, but, you know, keep trying, I guess. I mean, I guess Sacrifice Accepted is a little... It's a little wrong, because we accept your sacrifice even if it's not sufficient. I guess we'll just keep it for now. We'll, the writing in this story can be rewritten later. Alright, let's... Slash reload. We have a bunch of new followers that I've uh, not... The gods are pleased. That is good. That is very good. Switching to that. Immediately. <laughs> oh, I, I love it. For now. That's the subtitle. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's, that's just... That's great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Slash reload again. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's that's amazing. I love it. Um, we basically need to rerun setup. Get a new goal. The gods demand a gold ingot. Fine. Have a gold ingot. Uh, scoreboard objective set display sidebar. Get rid of everything. And... I didn't do the two level two ones. That's why that work doesn't work. We need a oh, uh, we need a whole bunch of more. A leaf? No, not good enough. Eight leathers. Good. Here, take some leathers. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's great. Okay, maybe a bit heavy on the happy particles, but we can we can, we can adjust the polish later. I'm gonna just pull it down a little notch. There. All right. Anyway, we had a bunch of follows that I've uh, in my regular regular way missed out on. We have uh, Hiosh Jire, Mario, TRGR. I, I can't figure out if that's supposed to be read out some way, and... Bought a Barnabas. Maybe? <laughs> the sacrifice seems a bit too quick. Maybe. Delays are tricky. I mean, you'd have to have, uh... You'd have to have it lay on the ground a little while. I, d I don't... I don't mind too much. So if you throw three apples now, that switches this to... Okay, yeah, it accepted them, switched it to th th five. So that's good. And now if we throw another five, the gods are pleased for now. Good! First time someone actually pronounces this old account name correctly, I'm gonna have to change it. Oh boy. All right, so anyway, we have this whole mess to deal with. We need all of the different types here. So uh, we're going to have to go through them one by one and fix them all. It's, uh, I think the easiest way of doing it, which means leaf, leaves, right? That's a bit of a problem. Because there's the whole leaf two thing, right? Or are there are there only one leaf? No, there's leaves two. 
Maybe it would be better if it changed to zero times apples, even if the amount is met. I think we can just clear out the, the action bar, actually. You can delay the sacrifice by only detecting items with the on-ground tag. That's not bad, actually. So we only set accept that we might as well do that here on ground. Dump that in before we do many more. That's good. That's really good. So at least it has to land. <laughs> and then. Where's the, um, what we need is to do here, actually we need to go, yeah, we need to, if this whole thing is done, am I in the right view? Yeah, I am. Then we also need to do title at a action bar with an empty text. That should do it. Most people pronounce my pronounce my name incorrectly. That that's that's the bane of all streaming, you know. If people people are joining in, and following, and just all kinds of crazy crazy names, and you're like, "Oh, what does it what?" And you're only reading it like once, so it's not like you have a, a big time to just go like, "Let me analyze this name now." Jacarian Studios. That would be my attempt to yours. All right. So what we're going to have to do, if we go back to the leaves, is we're going to have to duplicate this and accept leaves too as well. Um, and then string. Which is just string. Darn it, I said it correctly. Oh no! Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin. Golding it. It's gonna be a little bit of a grind here. Golding it. I'm back. Did my name change yet? Yeah. Death approaches. Cheerful! Bookshelf. Lava bucket! Ooh, crud. Um. Book book it. Instead of setting action bar to empty, set it to sacrifice accepted. I think that's kind of... A it's a little bit... It's it's a little bit over the top because I, there's a text... There's a... Th there's a, a title across your entire screen at that time that says sacrifice accepted, basically. The gods are pleased. So... But why put it in... Why put it in the uh, the action bar as well? That seems very over the top. What am I working on, by the way? I just joined. This is a thing I called Project Sacrifice, which is basically a um, a Minecraft survival extended challenge where every day the gods will ask you to sacrifice them some items. So you have to run out and get those items, and then sacrifice them on this altar. Like right now, it says that they want three gold ingots. Uh, so I have to sacrifice three gold ingots, uh, or the gods will be mad and punish you in some way that is as of yet to be determined. Um, is there a lava bucket? Yeah, there is. Hot stuff. Alright. 
after lava buckets come quartz block. Quartz block and redstone block. All right, this is going to be a little bit grindy. Maybe punishment could be that your max health is reduced. Yeah, we talked about that. That was my that was my initial idea. Remove heart, two hearts of your health, but it's non-trivial to make that happen in a good way. If we can, I would love it, but it's it's not easy. Uh, what's a clownfish? It's a it's a fish too. Will the gods take the entire lava bucket or just the lava and leave the bucket? They will take the lava bucket. Oh, how do we mesh that? Um, some damage. Did I even say? Two. Two. Damage value bite? No, it isn't, is it? It's a short. You have to store lava in something. Alright, we're gonna throw a one of you down there, and then we're gonna do N T T data. C plus one. Actually, I should switch you guys over so you see what the heck I'm doing. Item Damage 2S. Yeah. It's an S. I feel like being struck by lightning is the sort of thing an angry god would punish with. Hmm. The problem is, if it doesn't kill you, or like end the game, and if it doesn't cause any permanent ish, permanent damage, permanent loss of something, then it's like, why, why do I even bother? Like all I need is like a, a golden apple and I'll heal through whatever damage comes. Or like, I need a, a, a potion of fire resistance and I'll, I can just ignore the gods. The idea is it should really hurt. So either it ends the game or it like permanently reduces your health or something. Or it counts down lives, like somebody mentioned. It's like, yeah, you, you can... You can have three... You have three... You can make the gods disappointed twice and then you're out or something, but... Fish. And that would be a uh, fish with some other remove walking speed. Oh god, I, that, I feel like that. That just that's fish three. I feel like that's just uh, you, you've already lost by the time it happens once. The health would be ideal, in in my view. It's just it's just harder to do. But it might be possible. Uh, wait, what? Alright, I need to just get rid of the damage out of this one, because the glowstone is not a fish. Uh, glow... is it glowstone block? No, it's glowstone and the dust is the glowstone dust. So annoying. Inconsistent. Oh. What if the lightning strike is just the delivery method of the max health reduction? I approve that one. For sure. But that, then we're just talking effects, basically. Struck by lightning reduces your health. We just need to figure out exactly how, how that health reduction would work. Lapis block. Yep, yeah, it is. I am not. I'm not. I'm not terribly worried about making it look cool when it happens. I think that's it's fairly easy. Cobweb. Cobweb. The worst part about this is you have to actually test each and every one of these items to know that they are all right after this slime ball. 
Slime ball, one word or two words? It's one word. Ender pearl. Maybe force a head, a zombie head, skeleton skull on the player with debuffs, effectively, ex effectively taking away their hat slot and also giving them the debuff like minus half. Yeah, but then I have to take away an, um, an armor slot. I mean, yeah, Curse of Binding would definitely. I've thought about that option. I just don't like the idea of taking away the head slot. I mean, that would be an option, actually. For every every uh, time it happens, you lose one of your armor slots and you lose health. So so you get like a... You get a... The first thing you get is like a, a mask of some kind or something that like... Yeah, maybe that... It, yeah. I, I guess it could work. What am I even, I'm even reading like golden apple. Take the offhand slot. I really don't like that. Better take the armor slots. Emerald. Cake. What? Why didn't it switch back to? All right. Anvil. Why is part of my head missing? Because uh, because of the setup I run for uh, the, the face cam. It's, it's not an actual green screen. By the way, if you're underground or in the nether, you can't see the time. Uh, you have to keep, keep uh, track of that then. Don't make the gods angry. I obviously, th this whole thing is going to happen in cycles. So you got a better, like, you're going to be rushing to... Uh, blaze rod. You're going to be rushing to uh, complete whatever it is for today. And then, after that, you're going to get a big announcement across your entire screen when the sun rises, because then that's when you get your next assignment. Trust me, you're not, not going to miss sunrise. You're going to go, the gods want 14 apples, right across your screen, so you're not going to miss that. Tag. Saddle. Cookies. So what happens when you die because you would lose items in armor slots? Hardcore. Yeah, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit thinking that this like dying is the end. Alright, we're gonna have to match an awkward potion. Does the game give you an initial grace time or do you have to appease the gods on the first day? You have to appease the gods on the first day, but the way it works is the the difficulty of the things that they ask for is escalating. Uh an awkward potion. Is this whole mess of thing? This would probably be a pain in the butt, but how about extra side sacrifices that aren't ne necessary to do, which gives you buffs and may occasionally replenish your heart bar? 
Uh, not sure I like that. Um, Minecraft potion. It has to tag with the potion Minecraft colon awkward in it. Jeez. If you want to match only awkward potions. Uh, we I discussed the uh, um, inventory, reducing inventory space before. Don't like it. There's too many, too many weird things with it. Too many side edge cases. But punishments are bad luck, worse loot, more hostile mobs, etc. Not punishing enough, in my view. Obsidian. Will there be rewards? I mean, my, my idea is no. It's, it's just a challenge, and the challenge is stay alive and appease the gods for as long as possible. Enchanting table is 15 letters long. Oh god. Enchanting table or enchantment table? Because the text says want, one, and the, the item name is the other. Enchanting table. The reward is that you don't get punished. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. These are not the happy, kind, the kind of gods. Uh... All right, we're getting getting through it. Gas tier. Magma cream. And the crystal. You're seriously the seriously badass things here. We're gonna have to figure out what happens at the end of it too. Dragon's Breath. What is that now? Um, basically, at the end of it the, it, the system is going to basically tell you, okay, uh, there are no available sacrifices anymore because you've done too well. Which, yeah. Dragon underscore Breath. Of course, the item is called Dragon's Breath, but the, the item is the item ID is Dragon underscore Breath. <laughs> DJP, I'm assuming that name is. Thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. What are we at? 630 something. Pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Chorus fruit. Oop. Ah. How about a final sacrifice asking you to bring a dragon egg? The thing is, the dragon egg is way easier than many of these things. The only the only reason it is, the only reason it's not in this is it's not a, not repeatable. Like the dragon egg is way easier than getting getting like uh, uh, totem of undying in a day. What am I looking at? Shulker shells. What are they in game? Shulker underscore shell. Huh. I had the for some reason some idea that they were like something something different, but 
Dragon head. What are those? They're like a skull with a five, yeah. Damage, colon, 5s. How about when you win, you become a god and spend eternity demanding stuff from other people? Here's the thing you don't understand, right? There is no winning. Oh, I should not have copied that one. Like this. Or... Obsidian. No, good. Ooh, we want the LA trip. <sighs> Maybe three withers with 1k hearts. I mean, the thing is, at the very basic level, what I'm thinking about is just not stopping. Like, basically, when you get high enough level, you just let it keep requesting things. It keeps getting harder and harder. Uh, but what happens is we unlock, we just let it request more items. So uh, some, at some point you'll be asked to get like four, uh, you'll be asked to get 40 totems of undying or whatever. Wither skull. Nice. Is that four? Might be three. It's one. No, what, what am I? What am I changing? I'm starting to get ever so slightly tired here, and warm as hell. I want to finish this now because it's pretty close to being finished. This thing. What time is it? Uh, it's eleven. It's not strange. I'm streaming for uh, three hours, so not terribly strange. Then sponge. Should probably accept both kinds of sponge. I think. They're the same item but different data, right? Yeah, they're both sponge. I think it'll be fine. How about setting the weather on a thunderstorm and asking for mob heads, which are only attainable for a charged creeper and blowing up other... So, what I don't like... ...is messing too much with survival. Right? So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a challenge that adds a challenge into survival. What I don't want to do is add a whole bunch of extra functions. I don't want to add new mobs, I don't want to add special loots, I don't want to add extra buffs. All I want is a challenge for you to complete in survival. Another star. Two words. Words. Totem of Undying. Is that one, or is it just called Totem? No, Totem of Undying. A new day dawns, the gods demand two glowstone blocks. <laughs> Well, all right, fine. I think we're done with this. Yeah, we are. So all we can do is we can just do slash reload. Clear our chat and the stone. Yeah. That looks good to me. Nether, did I mean Nether Star? Yeah. Did complete it, yeah. I was just wondering if it was Nether Star or Nether underscore Star. That's why I didn't type it out all at once. Hello, Minecraft. There we go. Alright, so... I kind of feel like that's a pretty decent place to end off here. We made a lot of progress. The, the whole core loop of the game now actually works. The balance is terrible. There's no punishment. But it works. Uh, so that's a pretty good way, place to end for today. Please remove the space before, for now. 
Ne o. It's supposed to look like that. I would really like the new recipes unlocked to stop popping up. You can do it with that advancement grant at P everything. Yeah, sure. What blocks can we use for the altar? I might try some fun, fun to try some designs. I mean, basically, you've seen the list of things that are sacrifices, right? Anything that can't be used to make those things or aren't those things themselves. Basically. Uh, Sophia Nem. Thank you very much for the follow. All right, so with that said, I think that's uh, a good way place to end before I collapse. I need to I need to open this, this is studio up and get some air in here, and I need to um, I need to go get some food. I think. Uh, can you make a paste bin? Uh, sure. I I in uh, I'll make sure that this ends up somewhere the list and that. Um, I'll post the link somewhere. Uh, if you aren't, then please get on my Discord, my fan Discord, and uh, I will uh, I will post it in there as well. Uh, and uh, for the recipe thing, you'll have to stand it because this is going to be a survival thing. So I don't want to mess with the advancements too much, and I don't want to give myself all of them. So they just keep popping up. That's just the way it is. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. That was uh, more progress than I thought we would make, actually, and more people on the stream than I thought I would have. So thank you very much for that. Uh, I very much do appreciate it. Next stream is going to be a YouTube... Actually, there might be some thrown in uh, Player Anonymous Battlegrounds or um, Rocket League during the week. I'm not sure. Uh, otherwise, the next stream is the survival stream, and it's going to be on Saturday this week on YouTube and Mixer. Uh, because on Sunday, I am leaving. So... That's it for today. Take care, and I will see you laters.